the final skater out onto the ice now. And as we mentioned, Ryan, certainly coming in as the favorite, the reigning world champion, Yevgenia Medvedeva from Russia. And at just 17 years old in her second season at the senior level, incredibly, she has won gold in all but one event she's competed in since 2005, including last year here at the Grand Prix final. And so far this season has been no different. in the second half of the program and she has only completed two elements. This is where her strategy comes into play. Triple flip, triple toe, just so easy. Triple loop, so smooth on these landings. And double axle to round out the jumping passes. Moscow world champion Yevgenia Medvedeva stepping away from high school for a moment to deliver the kind of performance she's now become very well known for absolutely perfect and what I think her greatest strength is is she instills confidence you know she's gonna skate well you never have to hold your breath when she goes up into the air. It's not that she never makes mistakes, but it's so rare. And when she does make mistakes, they're not very severe. She continues day in and day out to just go business as usual and put up these scores. And as we've seen in years past, if you continue <laughs> to skate cleanly at all your events, your scores will continue to climb because the judges want to have confidence in the skater. They don't want to have to be worrying. They're, gonna, they're already having their hand hovering over the plus two or the plus three before they even take off when you see a skater like this. And as we've already hit on, she likes to do the jumps in the second half. She likes to put an arm over her head. All of those things just get you a little bit of extra 
point on the technical side. So now my question is, why doesn't everyone do it if it's such a clear winning strategy? Well, it's not necessarily an easy thing to do <laughs> to jump all those big ticket items when you're fatigued, even at the end of a short program, you're a little gassed and trying to do a triple flip and a double axle with your arm over your head is not very easy either. My issue with it is that it's not necessarily aesthetically pleasing. She puts her arm over her head. It doesn't even go straight up like we saw with the Tano Lutz in the 80s. It just kind of gets over the head just enough, almost as if she's checking off a bullet. And yes, she does the jump beautifully. There's no break on the landing. But I don't see the point in just putting your arm up to put it up. Well, until the rules change and they don't give you extra points for it, I don't know if that's going to change. Although, in the free skate, we'll see much more of that. So, I guess you better get used to it, Ryan, because <laughs> Evgenia Medvedeva is not going anywhere. And neither are those world record scores. 79.21, a season's best. Look at that technical score, 42.55. And, Ryan, that's not just what she accomplished in the bonus, that's also the quality with which she performed all of those technical elements, the run out that you mentioned, absolutely beautiful performance. So there she is, the world champion, Yevgenia Medvedeva with top billing after the short program, but closely followed by Caitlin Osman from Canada. A super impressive performance, so powerful. And Satoko Miyahara from Japan, rounding out the top three, leading into the free skate. So last year's Grand Prix final silver medalist Miyahara has some ground to make up if she wants to better that result, while Caitlin Osman just keeps getting better, scoring a personal best to land in second. And Evgenia Medvedeva leads the way into the free program with a new world record in the short. For Ryan Bradley, I'm Tanith White. Thanks for joining us.